Hello and welcome back to Arctico. In the last episode we spent the night here. Comms are still offline but at least I was able to develop an alien plant incubator that will let me gather more data and get even more and get to reproduce them at some point. So far I have only found two kinds of plants but the comet fragments seem to have crashed all around the island. Some of them fell into the ocean but I have high hopes I will be able to find them if I search the cave system. Hmm. Okay. Cave system. Didn't we want to go back into there? I got lost last time. Power. Good, I've got plenty of power now. We're here, which is quite a long way from our base. Base is up north. I don't see anything on the map. To indicate anywhere locally to search. There is a cave entrance here. What's the what are you? Retrieve blueprints. Go on then. Glider blueprint. Got twenty four crystals, seven point five kilograms of ore, three hundred and four power. I want to do something about this. Anyway, let's see if the doggies need feeding a minute. Hello boys and girls. How about you? Do you need feeding Max? You do. Sorry, Bruno. Keep your health up. Your stamina up. In the meantime, I will also eat some fish. Cooked. I'll drink some water. Right, what's this over here? Looks like some masts of a ship or something stood up. Take a quick run. Perhaps it's further than I thought. Let's go back and get the dogs. There's been quite a few updates, minor updates since our last recording session for this game and I haven't really explored them at all I've just been playing the game basically this looks like a ship Something over there, what we're looking at. And once we go back in the caves, I'm a little bit hesitant because the last time I got severely lost. Right, let's see what's here. If there's anything here, it looks like a wreck. at the bow. Ship's wheel. What are these things? Looks like barrels half buried in the, in the snow. The ice has seized our ship. Resilience seems to be slowly shattering as we come into the might of the glacier. The sudden breaks of the surface keeps us Watchful. Falling into these cracks would mean a slow and painful death. True fear is starting to creep into all of us. We have begun to aggressively rationalize the remaining supplies. Tonight we are going to bed with a half empty stomach, with some hot milk and bread in it. Our hope rests in sailing on these on the three rescue boats and finding a miracle in the boundless sea. I've been in love with the sea from the moment I first come to my father on a fishing boat. 
But now I feel nothing but dread towards my lover. I really do not want to die this way. Okay. Understood. Kilo of ore. Another kilo of ore. It was away up onto the ship's wheel. Build objectives unlocked. Don't know what that means. Organize your base objects with a snap to the grid. This camera, wind turbine, wind turbine. Oh, I need a blueprint for that. It's getting excited then. Glider, three of five. I still need a lot of work to find all the various bits and pieces. Okay. Oh, wait, boys, I'll be boys and girls, I'll be back with you very soon. I just have a quick look around the other side of this boat. I did see something in that direction. Might be worth investigating. But yeah, I am putting off going into these uh, caves. I got to be honest. There's, there's something over here. Let's go have a look, see what this is. I feel like I'm going to have to go and revisit the cave, especially that one over here. Um, the question is, do I do it now or do I do it later? big like last time. Last time was a large cave. Hmm. Looks like a lifeboat. Dear Camilla, I am surrounded by the most beautiful landscapes, yet all I can think of, think about is you. Your bronze hair that turns copper in the daylight, your tender caramel eyes and your perfect soothing voice talking to me as we try to sleep. You are infinitely sweet to the eye heart, and you bring nothing but kindness to everyone around you, and just thinking about you heals me every single day. I cannot wait to go back to home and finally marry you. Well, I hope you did, dude. I hope you did. Meanwhile, we've got resources here. It's a mushroom. I was thinking I may have to possibly return to our observatory to get more research data to exchange for currency. And make my minus $4,000 go away. Get it into a plus situation would be good. There is some vet. Oh, there's a camp there as well. Oh, I will be worth investigating in a minute. Looks like a structure. And some excavation equipment. What is this? It 
looks broken, whatever it is. How very odd. Looks like some kind of satellite structure has snapped off. Looks pretty substantial, so the force to snap it off would have been quite great. Hello boys and girls. I was right, it is excavation equipment and a cabin. Dearest Matthew, I am getting closer and closer to buying my cell boat and escaping from everything. The day is coming. At the moment I am working in this pit and it's actually not so bad. I got to enjoy a long sea voyage and now I'm enjoying all kinds of magical senses, scenes and calmness that make the back pain easier to cope with. The pay is also really good. I remember how we used to dream of moving to St Lucia together, living off sailing tourists. Remember everything we used to dream on your porch, and I keep writing to you. I hope you are somewhere up in the starry sky. I get to look at every night. Sometimes I want to write every single detail of you, hoping it will bring you back. Oh, that's actually quite sad. That is actually quite sad. It's a shovel. Stuff. Oh, that sun's moving. Built. Perhaps a detector of some sort. Oh, what was that I just picked up? This is odd. Is this a natural formation or is it artificial? It looks artificial, it's too square in. You have a rest from it, doggies. I'm going to have an investigate. Well, there definitely doesn't appear to be any sort of way in. So, is that a natural formation? Looks. Don't know. I don't know. 
think it's supposed to be natural. Did I just... Oh no, it's just the weather separated. Okay. should be protected by the from the wind. And how are you doing? Oh seventy-four percent. Seventy-two. Well let's see where it goes. Or is this just the above ground map? This is where I'm coming down to. That looks like to be our base. down here somewhere. Don't appear to have one of those machines for moving around nearby. So it shows up on the map, right? How much energy does that take? Three hundred nineteen, I've got the note. Let's take energy. There's a building over there. It does look like a submersible. of this sub-zero ocean are teeming with life and glowing colours. In the dark you can easily spot all kinds of creatures guiding you as you explore their home. I've been an oceanographer for over 30 years but no sea has made me feel in another planet before. I feel like an astronaut. Another kilo, two kilos. Today marks over four months since my start of my expedition, and today I have even more hope of finally finding this beast. Two, day ago, two days ago I spotted a whale fall, and its body had clear traces of recent encounter. Multiple suction scars, I feel I'm getting closer than ever to reach my life stream. Maybe I will not die without watching this giant. That sounds a little bit ominous. Day 10. Well, 
I don't want to go too far because my doggies will be getting hungry. So, where was the way I came in? Over there. Let's go and make sure the doggies are fine. Oh yes, you need uh, food. There you go, Zeus. Last but not least, Linda. Oh, Max, you can have a quick pet. South, aren't we? I'm going to fast travel home. Anyway, we're back at our base. I'd better eat. I'm gonna have to go fishing soon again as well. But I think that will be for next time. So I'm gonna settle in and make myself warm. Get some food cooked. And have a look at reducing my debt. Just one of these a minute, see how much that puts our limit up to. Got to collect some power from the solar panels. Press shift auto style space to change the camera. Right, okay, so 1370. So, how much power have I got? 214, not bad. Ten fix. Go on in. I was out to fix them. consider what to build and do next for the next episode but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you all again soon until then stay warm and take care <laughs>